Now at 5.30, road reflectors. CBS 6 investigates why some roadways in our area don't have them to help keep you safe. Thank you for joining us. I'm Julie Bragg. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. Well, you may have seen those red and white reflectors embedded on the road to help drivers stay in their lane when it's dark or rainy out. But we found out some of the roadways here don't have them. CBS 6 senior reporter Wayne Coble is working for you in Richmond tonight outside of our Broad Street studio. He went to VDOT to find out why some of these roads don't have reflectors. Why, Wayne? Well, Lorenzo, you can drive the same road for miles, and in some areas you may see reflectors, and in other areas you'll just see the striping. So we went to VDOT to ask them what's the criteria that they use, cities and counties use also, to keep you safe. On days like this, it can be hard to see whether you're on the interstate or on a side road like this one, where visibility for staying in your lane can be difficult at times. Petersburg is in the process of paving this section of Route 460 in the next few months. Some areas have reflectors, other areas don't. We'll assess it, and it is something we are considering putting those reflectors on the road. Reflective markers, something business owner Sam Moore would like to see more of. I'm sure it'll help others out that travel the road at night, you know, early in the morning, going to work, coming from work. So, yeah, they will help. VDOT says when it comes to reflective markers like this one, where they're placed has to meet federal standards. We look at the type of road it is, whether or not it's an interstate, a primary road, or a secondary road, the traffic volumes on those roads, the speed limit, and the lighting on the road. Some drivers say it's not the main roads that concern them the most. On the back roads. Definitely. Mainly on back roads and stuff like that around sharp turns, especially if the road is paved, it should have a lot more um, more reflectors so then people can see exactly where they're going because there's a lot of wrecks on back roads and sharp turns and stuff like that. Both VDOT and Henrico County tell me if drivers feel like there is a concern on a road that they drive on on a daily basis that they think maybe could use reflectors to give them a call and then both VDOT or Henrico in their case could do a traffic survey. Reporting live in Richmond, Wayne Coble, CBS 6 News.